Hi there, Luke Riggs Arnold, artist at Autodesk. Uh, just want to quickly come out to create this volume displacement uh, shading effect using the standard volume shader with a range UV projection ramp and cell noise shader. Okay, so I've got the poly mesh here. So just to render it as a volume, we'll go down to the Arnold attributes of the mesh and we need to increase the step size 0.1. We'll turn it into a volume. I'll just add some volume padding as well for now. I can always change that uh, later. So now these are rendering those volumes. So we need to assign a standard volume shader to it. Okay. And then I'm going to increase the density to like 10. Let's just add these. Right. And then connect a, a rain shader to the display volume displacement that'll give us more control over the effect and then to that we'll connect a uh, UV projection give us more control of how the uh, uh, effect is applied to change that to cubic you could try different projection types but use cubic for now and then control how the uh, where the where the cell noise is placed on the mesh we'll use a ramp for that and then for the white value just connect the cell noise shader there okay so for the cell noise we want to make sure the pattern is set to cell one we can uh, reduce the randomness and increase the scale in the x axis to make them a bit thinner in the y and z and we can exaggerate the effect going to the range shader increase the output max something extreme like 100 give us this and then if we want to control where it's placed on the mesh we can keyframe the black value so if i move this start to move this up you can see getting less cell noise at the bottom of his face or at the top. Let me smooth that out as well. Okay, so for final rendering, you want to make sure that your lights have enough volume samples and the volume indirect, we can increase that to get more uh, bounce light within in the volume. Just make sure your ray depth is high enough as well. So you might need to increase the volume indirect samples well, that's pretty much it okay thanks for watching and bye for now